This experiment is called rice kettle balls. If a granular substance like rice is poured into a vessel and if an object like a spoon is dipped into it, then at a certain depth of immersion, you can lift the vessel and its contents by simply lifting the spoon. One of the reasons this occurs is due to the fact that the pressure exerted by the contents of the vessel on the spoon is balanced by the gravitational force as well as the ambient pressure exerted on the contents. This causes the vessel to be lifted up by the spoon. Going into a more in-depth and complicated um, solution or explanation for this, we are able to understand that one of the main reasons this occurs is due to the phenomena of unequal sphere um, packing. So essentially what happens in this case is that um, the rice is assumed to be um, spherical in nature and each rice is assumed to have a different um, sort of radius or diameter of a sphere and the gaps between them are interlocked due to the difference and the unequal sphere packing mechanism uh, of rice and this causes uh, any object such as a spoon which is inserted into the container to instantly fit between the few gaps available and due to the interlocking of these unequal spheres and the forces described earlier uh, the rice ends up um, not falling out of the spoon and uh, a person is able to lift the entire container by just inserting a spoon into these unequal sphere packed dense um, container of rice this can also occur with other granular substances where they can be assumed to be spherical in nature where the gaps between them are essentially none as seen with rice in this case and that is why this is not possible with um clear spheres such as peas or small balls as there are clear defined gaps between them and you would not be able to lift it as easily as done with this irregular and unequal sphere packing of rice.